So just rope dropped Dak and now left there. It's two o'clock. Fun fact, if you want a good parking spot, it's just about two minutes before two o'clock when you rope drop or when you uh, park hop, go to the very front of the parking lot, the very first or second row, guaranteed to have somebody who is rope dropping. And it's a great way to get way up close, even though there's empty spots all the way at the back. Don't do that. So we're gonna hit a milkshake called the peanut butter explosion. We're gonna also head to Batu to get the chicken tip yip, as well as grab a, a spork. And then maybe ride a Runaway or Toy Story Mania, depending on what the wait times are. Maybe even Tower of Terror if it opens up. But let's get after it. is you'll notice that there's container 77 and over here 83 on it on the other side uh, it's for all this the original trilogy Star Wars movies numbers you know the years they came out and then that shuttle is actually a food truck on top of docking bay 7 where Strono Tugs makes all the food for docking bay 7 and we're gonna try the chicken tip yet so here inside the Bay 7, there you can see the containers, more Star Wars movie years, and that's where Strono drops in. So above us is where that shuttle is. And Strono drops in the food that you can eat here in Doctor Bay 7. Today I got two of these sporks. They're finally back in the menu, so I'm super, super stoked. I'll have to take one out of the bag so you can see it. And then this is the kids' version of the chicken tip yip, which is fried chicken, mac and cheese, and broccoli. So let's open up this fork. It's got its own little carrying case. Uh, I'm not gonna eat with it, but they look so cool. Look at that. This thing's heavy duty too. Oh, that's really cool. I kind of feel like I have to get four now, just so everybody, all the kids get one. Uh, let's get into the chicken tip yip. So it's the same exact noodles as the pika pasta, so which is one of my favorite things to get here. It's a vegetarian on the kids menu. Wow, the mac and cheese is awesome. This broccoli looks completely uncooked. It's al dente. It's not completely uncooked, but it's definitely al dente. And um, look at that big old Tonkin piece. Uh, Andorian chicken. <laughs> so it's just a piece of chicken breast that's coated in something that smells like the KFC seasoning. Pretty moist. It needs just a sauce. So the way to really eat this is to combo it with the mac and cheese, which is very good. I still think the pika pasta, is, pika pasta is the best thing here. And then get the Batu Bonbon and the Takadana Quencher. That's the holy trifecta of Docking Bay 7 if you want the best food items that they have. If you're more of a meat person, get the, uh, the ribs. The ribs are exceptional and that blueberry muffin's really good. Hmm. So on chicken tip yip, I'm gonna go with 3.2. It's very middle of the road. To, I think it's called Hollywood Scoops for the peanut butter Sunday, which sounds quite good. Give you a little ambiance as we walk over. episode of the walruspark.com podcast home of all your disney snack loving needs 
And uh, we're going over to Hollywood Scoops to get ourselves the peanut butter explosion milkshake. Oh yeah. Very excited. So here's Hollywood Scoops all the way at the end. Explosion milkshake, which I don't know if this was something they had before and they brought it back or what. But I'm excited to try it out. Sounds good. So we are outside of Hollywood Scoops, and this craziness I mean, look how insane this thing looks. This is the chocolate peanut butter explosion shake, which has chocolate ice cream layered with peanut butter sauce topped with whipped cream garnish, with chocolate peanut butter crumbles, and a chocolate dipped peanut butter cake that looks like a giant Reese's cup. I can't wait to try this. This would be right up Mel's alley. All right, so chocolate peanut butter explosion. Bob's peanut butter sauce in the bottom. And then the chocolate ice cream is delicious. It's it's custard or soft serve. And then I like the butterfinger pieces too. Instead of getting my hands dirty, I'm just gonna bite this thing like a savage. Oh my god. I got napkins. I'm in trouble if I didn't. <laughs> mm. Okay. That is like the fudgiest, most chocolatey uh, cake ever. Huge layer of peanut butter and just, wow, this is like a perfect dessert. It's trying to go under. It's so dense. It's like literally sunk. All right, let's get one more bite. Wow. It's so rich. The only thing I would say is add a little bit more of that peanut butter sauce on the top, like really drizzle that on, and you've got it an Aces dessert. This is really good, but that would bring it to next level. Good. Still really like it, so chocolate peanut butter explosion sundae, or milkshake, 4.3, it's delicious. So, pro tip, make sure you have a lot of napkins, but this, this thing is messy, but spectacular. That how thick that chocolate is coated on that peanut butter cake. That peanut butter, they should sell that peanut butter cake with like a rich raspberry or strawberry sauce to really cut the richness. That would be sensational. <laughs> with some more peanut butter drizzle. But anyway, that, uh, that wraps up studios. Great time here. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And check us out at walruscarp.com. If you, you like any of the clothes or sunglasses or whatever, we make Disney snack-based clothes. So thanks again for watching and uh, super appreciate it.